This is Germany, the most centralized country on earth. Centralization is far too great in this country. Even the most centralized country of the past, which is France, was decentralized with regional governments and uh, elected mayors who are very powerful figures uh, locally, whereas we've thrown more powers to London and subtracted them, taken them out of the regions and, uh, and local government. The British local government was born free. It is everywhere in chains. In this country, talent tends to drain away to London. Uh, and uh, what's left behind is not uh, the most effective top, top rank uh, political power. The 20th century development has been the local government being put under increasingly tight control, particularly financial control, so what it can spend and what it can do has been strictly limited, and the functions have been taken away uh, by London. For instance, council housing. Uh, I think uh, officials at Whitehall were jealous of the power of local government and regretted the fact that they couldn't control it, uh, because it was a challenge to their own power. The local government has become weaker and weaker, and uh, the Conservative aim, and I'm afraid we followed it was that it should be uh, a body for uh, contracting other people to do services and seeing that the contracts were properly maintained, but not doing it themselves. They had to outsource all the uh, all the work, and this again, I think, uh, weakened local government. So at the end of the day, we've got uh, a weak structure of local government. People. Uh, don't find it attractive to be elected as councillors because they've got no real power. They're kind of, uh, as public whipping boys, they get blamed for everything but have power to control nothing. Uh, so why bother to stand unless you're going to you know, be mayor and have all the glory of a chain and walking around the town pompously? Local government is too weak, it's too, uh, too uh, uninteresting to attract, attract talent and ability. And it needs a new dynamic and uh, new powers. Basically, it needs a new independence. Police commissioners, uh, yes. Uh, I think the police authorities that uh, have existed up to this time have been really ineffectual because nobody knew about them, what they did. Uh, and they didn't really have much power or were ineffectual. Uh, there was no way of uh, expressing popular concern about the police through the police authority. Uh, they became a kind of defensive shield round, round the police. If you've got a situation where you've got a possible conflict between the police commissioner and the chief constable, it, it brings the issue alive uh, and allows the police commissioner to relate the police to the community, what the community wants, what kind of policing it wants, uh, how much it wants to spend uh, on, on, on policing. That's the job, and I think uh, out of fiction you get uh, Pearls and oysters, well, I hope you might in this, uh, this kind of instance. I don't know, but it's an experiment well worth making. Uh, Whitehall doesn't want to donate any source of revenue to uh, local government. Uh, it makes it dependent on uh, the, the council tax with its, uh, with its bands, which is a very regressive tax. Uh, it allows wealth to escape lightly uh, and puts the burdens on, uh, on the poor. Uh, and it doesn't raise enough money, uh, so they've got to be supplemented by money from, from Whitehall, which makes them dependent. Now, if they had their own source of taxation, for instance, why not a petrol tax, why not a local purchase tax, why not uh, uh, give them any other source of revenue, which is going to give them a greater de uh, degree of independence, and say, spend that as you want, that's yours. Well, every other country gives local government some independent power to raise its own taxation, and to spend its own money, and we should have that too.